सो टूडेज वीडियो इज़ बेसिकली एमेजोन एफ पी ए की वर्ड रिसर्च मास्टर क्लास इन टूडेज वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस हाउ टू फैच द की वर्ड्स हाउ टू रिफाइन दैम हाउ टू गेट इन साइट आउट ऑफ दोज की वर्ड्स एंड दैन हाउ टू यूटिलाइज दोज की वर्ड्स टू इम्प्रूव योर लिस्टिंग कॉपी टू ऑप्टिमाइज योर लिस्टिंग कॉन्टेंट फॉर डेमोस्ट्रेशन परपजेज आई विल टेक प्रोडक्ट एट द प्री लॉन्च स्टेज लाइक यू हैव फाइनलाइज द प्रोडक्ट you have selected the design okay so this is a particular design which you want to uh, which you want to launch basically and then from that level we are going to see the keywords what are actual refined relevant list of keywords are all those keywords which have relevancy score more than 3 in our cerebro um, sheet does it qualify all of the should i take all of those keywords as relevant keywords or should i refine those what is the actual number of the keyword how i can utilize that how i can identify if my competitors are being um super skilled in listing content and optimizing the keywords in listing or do they lack uh, in this particular part so we are going to discuss uh, this thing today along with this if you have already launched your product this video is useful for you as well um you can still use the same methodology and fetch the insights and then optimize your current listing copy so for keyword research and listing optimization i use a keyword dominator from fp excel um brett is the guy behind it is a great guy um a, have good decent expertise in automating all of the grunt work and putting up insights in front of us without doing all the leg work i am also one of the affiliate for fb excel um a keyword dominator is part of this tool which you guys can see on the screen so i am also an affiliate for this one um you can mention uh, the code usv which is short form of my agency upskill valley and you can get the best possible discount on all of his toolkit uh, we in our agency use all of his tools like ad tactic keyword dominator snapshot all this kind of stuff and it's really helpful for us to um automate the part because right now ai is not up to that level where you can you know just use ai for ppc management and forget everything that can jeopardize the situation in most of the cases so we using this approach which is kind of a mix and match between the human uh, input and then automation and a keyword dominator is a part of it so for the first step we need to search our product which is in our case stress balls uh, we need to search that and then uh, we are supposed to do the um helium 10 x-ray then what we need to do is we need to sort it on the base of revenue because the science behind it is uh, once you have more uh, revenue it means you are getting sale from more keywords which means you are indexed for more keywords which means eventually more data uh, with which you can play around if you are selecting those player which are doing like in the, in this case particularly like 30 40000 and you are missing out these big players then there can be many potential keywords which you are missing so we need maximum amount of data and then definitely we can refine that one but first step is maximum amount of data for that we need to optimize it on the basis of revenue and then what we do is uh, i like this approach by brett uh we can kind of uh, adjust both screens uh, or tabs in the same screen and we can copy paste the essence from here so here i have typed the keyword stress ball my asin or competitor one so uh, what i do is like we are considering this as a pre launch stuff so we do not have exactly our asin launched if you have your asin already launched on amazon you can put it up here if you do not have then i will suggest you to uh, put here not the player which has highest number of reviews or sorry highest uh, revenue but instead of that put up the competitor which has the most similar design um the design which you want to sell on amazon that is important because there are many keywords which are design specific in many scenarios and uh, you won't find other designs ranked on those keywords so in our case particularly this competitor you can see uh, the picture in the screen uh, this is my exact design competitor this is what i want to launch here so let me copy and uh, paste it here and then we can fill up the remaining ones so here we have put up all of the 10 competitors which includes different design i'll i'll show it to you guys once the sheet is ready then um the first step we have chosen the top 10 essence then we can uh, click on this one download new data it's going to run up the script are you ready to continue yes
and it will open these three tabs for helium 10 i have uh, helium 10 in an other uh, tab i'll go from there but here you can see it has searched two things on amazon first is uh, the stress ball main keyword and it's going to show all the results from which we can select the comparators which we have already done and the other thing is this one this is pretty valuable if um, your sn is not ranked in the top 20 30 40 or maybe 50 position i mean you can't explore it through helium 10 like you're searching for helium 10 here if you can see it um, all these search results all these 69 sns you can't see your sn here then this particular approach is pretty good um, it is a custom search basically where all 10 competitors including uh, your sn um, is available so what you can do is you can kind of uh, put up a search here and then after that you can uh, move it directly to the Cerebro. So at the next step what we need to do is we need to run x-ray here. <coughs> now this is a custom search basically and it is showing up all these um, custom um, I mean all these essence which are searched to the custom search and then I have selected all these ones like remember these ones if I'm skipping these uh, these are the sponsored product so these one two three four five six seven eight nine ten these are the uh, custom um, 10 comparators which i selected once i need to repeat this and then i need to click on run cerebro and it will shift to the cerebro part here in cerebro usually there are a couple of filters which we can apply uh, the ideal number of keyword here is around uh, two to three thousand that's totally fine and i guess that is a sufficient data if we have around 7, 8, 10,000, it means uh, the result is a, a bit more irrelevant and you need to define it. So if we uh, kind of check out, there are around 26,000 filtered keywords right now. And what we can do is we can put up the minimum search volume filter here, like let's say 200. And then uh, this one, number of competitor, uh, like I want you to read this right now. Um, and to the minimum and maximum number of competitor essence that you want to be ranking for keywords in the range of next filter so i have selected 10 i need minimum one maximum 10 and then for the ranks uh, this is relevant to the like all the organic keyword range like for all these 10 uh, competitors which we have selected what we want is basically with this filter that even if only one competitor has keywords uh, which is ranked in a top 30 position then show us that so we can put up here one and the above is 30 even though there's a separate discussion which we can do that in uh, how we need to define whether it should be 30 or 20 or 10 um, but just to give you a gist of it if the market has good depth if there are people earning your target revenue which your minimum acceptable target revenue which is like 20,000 or 30,000 if people are earning uh, that kind of revenue till the 30th position then we are supposed to select the 31 if let's say there are only 10 uh, top 10 or 15 sellers which are earning your minimum target um, acceptable revenue then we need to select 15 here so that's a small tweak and that comes from experience and you can you can select it up here so then we need to apply a filter here And you can see the keyword list is pretty defined around 2500 which is totally acceptable for me and then what we need to do is we need to export data we shouldn't export this one but that one so we simply export it as csv file now in the next step uh, there are two or three files and i'll uh, tell you why two or three uh, which we need to download as csv and then we need to upload to the google drive i'll show you how it is but one catch here is in when you download the cerebro file you are supposed to save it as cr like cristiano ronaldo you need to save it like this and then what you need to do is you need to download this x-ray file as well export as csv file and you need to put up the name xr like a short form of x-ray and then we need to save it so the other third thing is uh, like you remember this custom search if uh, you are in the post launch phase and your product is like on 100th rank or maybe 130 and from that position uh, you want to download uh, the stats of your product then uh, it is suggested to download this custom excel file as well and that was the purpose for this custom search as well uh, what you need to do is you need to export it as csv and then you need to type as xr2 these are the three files which you need there are definitely 
uh, at least dozen of other uh, data sources which you can fetch but uh, for the sake of demonstration i'll keep it pretty simple and then you will get an idea how you can utilize other stuff as well so there's a small step in between which is authorization of your keyword dominator file with google drive and uh, there's a very short and precise to the point video by the uh, by the by brett himself and you can watch that uh, to config do the do the configuration and then the authorization part but after that it will look something like this uh, you will have automatically made up uh, these folders like keyword dominator and then it will have two uh, further folders in it keyword sources new and imported and these folders will be made up by itself what we need to do is we need to go to helium 10 and then we need to um, upload these files like xr cr and xr2 these three files we need to upload these one here and then we need to run the script on google sheet here we need to check up a couple of things first thing that um, your amazon marketplace uh, that is the right marketplace selected you can see all of the options are available here second thing is we need to click on this one file import move uh, import move mode on what it does is it will kind of move your files from new to the imported data so whenever you go for the next file uh, that folder is empty and that can cater the proper files um, in, a, in, a, in a right manner and then after that this thing is selected here are a couple of filters which I want you guys to walk through um, first thing there are a couple of things you can always adjust that but just to show you it's going to show the high potential list where my, my organic rank is between 15 to 50. It's going to show competitor winner where competitors are ranked on less than 15 a position. My top performer where I am in um, top 10 ranks and search volume is at least more than 100. Um, and then the other data sources which I, I was talking to you guys about. We can uh, upload the search query performance data, the search term impression share, advertise product, search term report like to fetch more search terms once your product has enough data from Amazon side. Uh, here I have, I have not checked any of these because I am not going to upload these ones. It's going to make the demonstration pretty complex. Uh, but here I am going to upload only these two one CR. You remember I saved the name as CR. They have given the naming guideline here as well like for Cerebro put up CR for Helium 10 extension put up XR I do not have a product which is already launched and it is ranked on like uh, 100th position or maybe 150 so I'm going to skip this one but if you have that kind of scenario you can tick this one and then there are other tools as well for example you use Jungle Scout you can use the same stuff for Jungle Scout uh, for Sellerize and then uh, search query performance data as well so there's a bunch of different things so I have uh, ticked on these ones because I'm going to upload these and then these two only to make things simple and from there what I need to do is I need to go to the third step we have already done the second one import data into keyword dominator it's going to run the script here then we need to click on yes for continue if you see it's kind of importing these ones your particular SN file is imported correctly it is imported correctly and then it should show up these one as well it is imported correctly if something is imported correctly then it means uh, the data is imported in a proper manner now you can see here your CR file is imported and moved to the imported folder file so it kind of shows that script is running and it, it's running in a proper way so this shows that the data import is complete we need to click on yes and everything is imported here now from here we need to go to the second tab which is data sources um, here are a couple of beautiful things for example this data source is of helium 10 cerebro if you had uploaded zone guru you can check it from here if you uploaded opportunity explorer search query performance magnet like there are some keywords which are not being fetched in cerebro so you can upload the magnet file then jungle scout but every uh, data source will work in the same way like i'm going to show you about helium 10 uh, cerebro that's why i'm skipping the other part here we need to kind of zoom out a bit and then this one i mean here is the logo for upscale valley training uh, which is available in the member area in fb excel and you guys can uh, see that learn seo learn keyword optimization all that part and here is this part here if i kind of zoom it a bit further okay so let me walk you through this one um, these are the alpha sn i'll show you what alpha sn is about now uh, this is the top 10 percent of the total search volume this these competitors that have captured top 10 uh, of the total search volume that is 
around 540,000 top 30 percent. They are, I mean, they are ranked on 93 percent on all of the keywords in top 10, uh, 30 position, and on all of the keyword they are ranked. Uh, I mean, out of all of the keyword on 76 percent keywords they are ranked in top 10 position and they are ranked on 93 percent of the keyword in top 30 position here are the stats of the other keyword as well but is it a refined data or not that's a big question i mean you can use bunch of different tools like data dive is one we are using keyword dominator that is the other one but then again in every tool you have to refine it you have to have a sense of what is the relevant keyword and what is not and you need to define the data on your own uh, to kind of get the custom final list of keywords which is very important so from here what we need to do is i'm going to uncheck the alpha essence for now because i'll show you when to use this so if i explain to you about alpha sn i love this uh, feature this sn is like uh, for all whichever sn is selected as alpha sn like in our case it's going to be this one and then this one particularly uh, for these essence ahead is the criteria um, for all the keywords um, or for these particular two essence where the score is uh, three the score is relevancy score like here if the score is five it means on this keyword out of ten competitors five are ranked on less than 30 position so if you see here this is the five um, one two three four five these are the five competitors which are ranked on less than 30 positions on this particular keyword that is why the score is five this is the relevancy score so in manual stuff you need to put up the formula of relevancy um, and here it is automated um, and what we need to do is like instead of selecting every SN for the relevancy part I recommend to only select those competitors which have very particularly relevant uh, and similar design and here at this point it's important to walk you guys through about the stuff so if you see stress ball is kind of the main keyword and then if you go into that part here is this shilling which is a very uh, well known brand needu is is kind of a very well known kind of stress ball but here if you see it is used like a fidget toy this one is squishy stress ball you can see the squishy part here so it, these are two different types then third one uh, this is stress ball for kids this is squishy now this one which is our selected design uh, the selected competitor is different that is serenalite but here the design is same you can see its intent is different this also comes under the stress ball but it's a different type of stress ball hand therapy relief so it is used if you have any uh, fracture in hand then you are recovering your muscle uh, or your hands are stressed or you are uh, using it in office for anxiety for uh, I mean this is a different type then again again this is a squishy one uh, then these are the fidget toys all this stuff so you need to identify because keywords for every part I mean keywords for this particular design are supposed to be different um, this one keyword list custom keyword list for this particular design is supposed to be different and similarly for a couple of other designs the keyword list is supposed to be different so what we need to do is to, to get a refined custom keyword list it's very important that you um, you kind of select your design first you can uh, repeat this drill on multiple designs and you can figure out what is the custom keyword list for those designs because this data right here this is a unrefined data and that data can confuse you uh, on a couple of uh, layers and this is what i'm going to show you right now so now we need to go here again and go to the fourth step add keyword to the target list this is our target list right now which is kind of pretty empty i'll explain you can see the, the empty part here this is empty they have fetched the listing content automatically from amazon listing that's the beauty of this tool we don't have to copy paste the content manually to optimize it but here the list is empty uh, empty so what we need to do is we need to go for the fourth step add keyword to the target list now our data source is helium 10 not jungle scout but definitely you can use that not zone guru so here we need to select on this one add cerebro keywords once we do it it's again going to run a script and it's going to move all of the keywords which have relevancy score more than three into the uh, the target keyword tab uh, or the target keyword list which is this one so you need to study uh, i mean read this one if this is your very first keyword list press no i'm going to press no here and it's going to run the script so like you can see your keywords have been added i'm going to click ok then um, i may wait for the script to end once it's finished i'll go here and here you see the data is now populated 
now we need to kind of zoom out a bit uh, to show you all the stuff here um, these are the uh, so first one is this one which is your listing optimization fact uh, segment and then here is the second one um, which is the title and bullet point optimization benchmark and this is the list of keyword which you can see right now 354 keywords and around 700,000 search volume and here is a complete overview of all the stuff where where is a um, I mean where you can see a bunch of data for example um, all of the content of your competitor listings and again uh, their status for example here you can see what is the search volume of um, our selected relevant competitor it is around 680 what's the title search volume it's around 110 the bullet points around 95 you can see all that data stuff and then ranks like in uh, for first four ranks we have around 159 keywords 73 percent search volume then from fifth to ten we have around 28 keyword three percent search volume and then all this kind of stuff i mean from 10 to 30 11 to 30 31 to 50 all this stuff and you can see this thing for the other competitors as well and here is another uh, way to analyze the data so i mean it's it's kind of amazing um if i zoom in a bit further to show you guys okay so here is the comparison stuff where you can see the index total search volume and then the top 10 uh, search volume top 30 search volume we have selected these three ones so once we have selected these three ones um, you'll see uh, let me show you we need to kind of you'll see here uh, the top 10 the uh, the organic ranks like the index total and then that the top 10 uh, search volume top 30 search volume like these two here which are selected you can see here if you select these ones as well like title search volume exact search volume which is i believe not necessary then you can see that data downward here as well um, okay so from here if you go further these are how many picks each of your competitor have like pictures what is the date when they were listed what is their bsr their um, review rating and then their revenue then their review velocity and then category size dimension weight all the stuff then this rank distribution data is at a bigger level and um, here you can see the upskill value training part again here is the search term optimizer we'll use it eventually uh, in this video and here are a couple of things at the uh, bottom where you can see um the uh, the the helium 10 data which is most useful i believe um helium 10 uh, title density and then again the search volume then the search volume trend and then from here uh, these are the parts uh, with which we are going to optimize the uh, uh, the keywords which is the search term uh, the flag uh, terms basically search term optimizer will use it at the end then the keyword frequency tool i really love this then the import brand list i'm going to show you this part as well here what we need to do is like right now the major part is how to optimize these keywords now i mean it, it sounds pretty cool and we have around 700,000 search volume but is it the relevant search volume um are we uh, i mean for our particular selected design are all of those keywords relevant um in in majority cases in most of the cases the answer is no then how we are supposed to optimize this keyword list this is what we are going to see right now before optimizing the keyword list if i go back here um and kind of then zoom in it again and now if i click on this one already on target list you are going to see all of those keywords which have score more than three uh these are turned green so if a keyword is turned green like here you can see it means it's it is already moved uh, to the uh, this one to my target keyword list so if i if i kind of it is already moved to this target keyword list this is what it means and what we can do is we can go to this one filter source uh, table so all of the source tables are covered here cerebro zone guru and we can click here on cerebro it's going to run the script and then from there it's going to put up the filter here uh, it is recommended to not do it manually because there's a heavy scripting at the back end um and yeah that's why for every stuff there is a command which you can follow so now this is filtered and what we can do here is we can um sort by colored and fill color white now it's going to highlight all of those keywords which have relevancy score less than three all of those keywords are here and the green ones are at the bottom 
because we have sorted those i mean that's a big list of keywords so here you can see all of those green keywords which are relevancy score more than three those are at the bottom and on top all of the white keywords are here we need to instead of putting a filter we need to sort these and then i'm going to uh, skim through these keywords uh, step by step to make sure that everything is covered or i'm not missing any any um, hero keyword or you can say any gap keyword which we label as so once i have skimmed through all of the keywords and uh, figure out if there is any uh, potential gap keyword i'll identify different kind of modifiers for example like you can see here pop pop is a modifier here sand filled okay so cheap large small grip strength trainer all this kind of stuff uh, these are the keywords for example this one need to that is a branded search term giant fun stress ball arthritis now a hand squeezer all of these are the modifiers which we are going to um, go through a bit later on but before that what we need to do is we need to select these alpha essence then go here and from there helium 10 and then add alpha essence so what it is going to do is it is going to um, fetch all of the keywords on which these two particular essence are ranked in top 10 position no matter if they are the only competitors or they are the only sellers out of these 10 available uh, competitors ranked on those keywords still it's going to fetch that that's a very valuable thing because uh, i'm going to say yes to this because the point is um, these are the designs or these are the keywords which are design specific if your product is uh, ranked on a keyword in top 10 position it means your product is relevant to that keyword now if not all of the other competitors are ranked the reason can be because your design is different in the keyword on which your uh, product is ranked in top 10 position that is a very design specific keyword that won't apply to other designs that is why other competitors are not ranked in top 10 positions and you guys are so in that particular scenario this script where you are supposed to migrate all of the keywords in which your exactly relevant design competitors are ranked in top 10 position that's very valuable stuff and that is uh, going to save you uh, much of your time manual time effort so here your keywords are imported please go to this tab when you want to check them now let's see uh, if you go to this tab here we are going to see the different sources for example here uh, cr4 which means the source is cerebro and then four means the relevancy score is four um, and then this is particularly i mean um, you, from your alpha sn if you see one of the alpha sn had this 36x at the end so this keyword is fetched from your particular alpha sn and we did two alpha sn so this is the second alpha sn uh, f5d so it is defining the source here and wherever you see this uh, muscle uh, sign it shows that your product is ranked on that particular keyword uh, for this part i mean this this is what it shows you right now so this is a list of keywords and then again the search volume uh, after putting up the alpha s and stuff and this is the final picture now what we are supposed to do is we are supposed to define all of this list now let's define the keyword list uh, for here what we need to do is we need to go up here and you can see we are done with the new research session tools we have gone through all of four steps and now in the listing wizard tool we are supposed to go through these steps not step by step but i mean one thing at a time so one thing uh, keyword frequency tool we need to click on here uh, build keyword frequency list and uh, this is very um, awesome tool in my opinion are you ready to continue yes now as you see here uh, it is populating this keyword frequency tool and it is showing you a couple of stuff for example the word their quantity and then their search volume uh, for example the stress word is used in around 174 keywords and the combined broad search volume for stress is uh, 226,000. similarly ball is used in 136 and the combined search volume is 241 for toys uh it is used in 111 keywords and the combined search volume is around 4000 and that is how um, i mean that is the f first step where you're supposed to refine your keyword list now before defining that let me tell you why you see these color coding like this green one then red one and then here if you see it is written okay so in, in bullet point it is used as three times four times first time it is because of this reason 
whatever is uh, uh, colored as green code it is used in the title whatever is colored as red it is used in bullet points and then um, for the ebc and then for the search term we can also use that but that is why you see the color code and we are going to eventually use this color coding to make sure that we have covered maximum list of keywords here in this part so here uh, once we see this uh, keywords we need to search those keywords step by step and manually which is very important for example if you uh, see like stress ball okay so we know for our uh, selected design stress ball is relevant uh, but check out the let's check out squishy keyword for example if i see here squishy toys you can see here this one squishy toys squishy is kind of a keyword and then fidget toys now let me search those things for you guys for example if i instead of squishy toys that can be a generic one let me type squishy stress ball the last one now if you see let's go through the search results squishy then second thing is squishy third one is also squishy this is a very popular one from needu right now squishy squishy custom squishy uh, then again these are the sponsored uh, then this is showing as sponsored it is very important our target competitor is showing as sponsored it is very important for us to see if it is showing as the um, as as organic rank squishy 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 all over and then uh, again squishy you won't see our particular design ranked organically which is uh, very important or even if it's ranked if it's in the last uh, uh, position or last ranks that won't make sense so that is one point here which shows the design is not uh, that kind of relative um, sorry not relative but relevant and then if you go for the fidget fidget is also another popular keyword fidget stress balls and if i go here fidget stress ball if you check out out here then you see okay so these two and then these ones these are not relevant these ones okay so this one does look like relevant but it is in again trending sponsored then again more result these are sponsored ones organically you can't see it here you can see it organically i mean this one is a design uh, but i'm not sure at what rank it is i mean definitely it is like at the bottom one so it even after getting 3000 reviews and 4.5 rating 2000 units are sold as per amazon if still it's not ranked in the top position then maybe the relevancy is not that much accurate this is what we need to identify with each uh, word step by step for example fidget here not relevant okay uh, then toys not relevant then squishy not relevant then cube needu cube is famous not relevant needu it has around branded search volume of 176,000 and 172,000, which is big. So that is definitely not relevant. Uh, Needu, uh, a combined word has 117,000 search volume. That is not relevant. So we need to we need to define that list of keywords. And once we define that, what we do is uh, we can do it in two ways. First thing is here, which I love to do, which is. Um, these are the uh, four different types of tags which we can assign for example all of the uh, like fidget toys where we see our products can index but there is very less chance uh, that it gets organic orders because those keywords are not relevant why it's not relevant because um, two three four five different relevant designs as compared to what we are aiming to sell uh, those designs are not ranked organically there that is why it is high likely that you are not supposed to get sale on those designs now it's very important phenomena here and i would like you guys if you're still watching at the, till this point i would like you to pay some more attention to this point these four types these are very important in refining your uh, keyword list in um, uh, putting up keywords in your content in selecting keywords for your ppc strategy let me explain you how now all these ones which I've just explained we are supposed to tag them as negative the other tag is design the third one is relevant you can also create uh, some other couple of uh, tags by just adding up and add an item here uh, in this way and you can add more tags if you want to but for me or for someone who has watched my course my content my YouTube videos you know I strictly follow uh, these three fourth is branded and the fifth one is outlier where it's like 
toys is an outlier keyword for stress ball so this kind of stuff so uh, all these selected one and definitely there would be more but uh, to keep things precise i'm just selecting a few to show you the process rather than doing it everything uh, step by step so uh, you need to put those in the negative targeting then um, all of the keywords which are very design specific and which shows uh, your product ranked on top position uh, you need to tag those keywords as design specific keywords now it's very important your conversion is supposed to be higher on these design specific keywords and i'm going to show you example in just a bit as compared to relevant keyword so relevant keyword is stress ball uh, design specific keyword is for example stress ball for hand therapy which is uh, particularly your product your conversion on stress ball for hand therapy is supposed to be higher because your product is serving that uh, purpose uh, practically as compared to your conversion on stress ball similarly blue ripped uh, jeans for women uh, should have a higher conversion if your product is exactly blue, blue ripped jean for women as compared to uh, that same product against uh, jeans keyword or jeans for men keyword because that's not exactly the same stuff so what we do is we filter out the design specific keywords we check out their quantity their search volume separately and that is our mod basically uh, for hand therapy products like let me show you here uh, just to uh, put a bit more emphasis on the point stress balls for hand therapy so if i search it up here now you see the designs these are more relevant these ones you won't find squishy here so this one is third ranked this one is ranked uh, this one is ranked this one is ranked now these designs are altogether different your if you're, if you're selling this product your conversion on this keyword uh, stress ball for hand therapy is higher as compared to simple stress ball and then again your conversion for uh, squishy stress ball which is exactly not your product your conversion on that keyword is going to be pathetic so what we do is we figure out these design specific keywords their quantity their search volume and basically we try to compete against these competitors now these ones which are pretty relevant to our um, design our first layer of competition is these competitors these are our first layer of competition and what we need to do is we need to make sure our listing content our captured search volume our images our pricing our offer should be better against these keywords because my first layer of competition is these and then after that i am competing against all those designs which are um, which can be ranked on stress ball main keyword which includes squishy uh, stress balls which includes needu like branded stuff which includes a couple of other stuff so if i whatever product i'm going to select if it has a decent number of design specific keywords along with their search volume that is um, and i see a gap in my design specific competitors that is a big mode which i have i can play around those lines i don't need to compete against stress ball i need to compete first against stress ball for hand therapy and all of those similar design specific keywords and then once i get ranked against these one uh, then i'll go for the main keywords or relevant keywords like stress ball stress toys um etc etc all this kind of stuff my conversion for these keywords the design specific keyword is going to be higher my acquisition which means my acquisition cost uh, is supposed to be lower like here i'm getting one order on five clicks on stress ball i'm getting one order on 10 clicks so my conversion here is higher first point because my conversion is higher my probability for ranking is higher so i can get more organic orders from these keywords and my first choice of keywords when i am going for ranking through ppc should be these keywords it is that much important so that is the beauty of this sheet which i mean by putting up these filters we can get up this stuff so let me put up here negative and then i am supposed to run this one it is going to run the script okay so once the script is done you can see two plus bars here this one is my node part and it is showing up all of these um, negative keywords and then here is another one which is if you have um, ex uh, the, the higher subscription for helium 10 where it shows the click share and conversion share you can utilize this one it also fetch the maximum ppc bid and minimum ppc bid data which is definitely um, good thing as a reference point you can always go to the uh, the advertising console and check it by yourself but it saves time that's that's the point here 
so here uh, we have seen all these negative stuff what we can do is we can sort these keywords um, by maybe z2a um, and then all of the negative ones are here then what we can do is we can select all these negative keywords now don't take this i mean um, uh, on, on the face of it i'm just trying to show you how the optimization process will work so we are supposed to select all these ones and then after that here are bulk actions which we can take for example if we want to delete any keyword or a list of keywords we can select the delete rows other ones are here which i'll show you in a in some time but we need to select the delete rows and then from there we need to select this one and it will delete all those irrelevant stuff it will delete all those ones so that is the point here uh, through this we are supposed to define our uh, uh, keyword list uh, by omitting all of the negative keywords for what, whatever keyword we are skeptical and we are not sure how things are working up what we can do is um, we can kind of go search it on amazon see how things are working up and take decision based upon that search result if it's a relevant keyword or not and then if it's relevant then put it to relevant or design specific if it's not relevant then put it to um, negative keyword list i mean this is the drill which we are supposed to do manually then after that what we can do is i mean we are supposed to optimize that and let me show you the final version once we have refined all of our keywords what is the change in the picture let me show you a bit later on but before that um, we can also do is this brand lister we are supposed to click here and it will populate all of the potential brands which it has identified it is going to put up the name uh, of all the brands here so once the um, i mean that brand lister thing has worked out it is showing up now all of the brands now if you see shilling is a brand serenalite is the target brand which we selected and then mind panda and then maybe um i mean the other ones all these genuvi is a brand so what we are supposed to do is we are supposed to select all these ones and once we select it we are supposed to copy it uh then here uh, paste special values here is the flag list and then after that we are supposed to click this button here which is going to apply that list here to these keywords um, and it, it is going to do all the homework by itself please note that this is reset okay let it reset uh, remember the other thing which i was talking to you about the negative keyword list what you can also do is uh, copy all the keywords from here which you think are negative paste those here and then again run the flag one so it will flag up all of those negative keywords that is uh, that is the other way of doing it the first way is uh, put the negative stuff here and then select all those and then delete those the other thing is uh, put up the uh, put those keywords copy paste into the flag list and then you can filter those up based out of the flag stuff and then delete rows so that is what we can do now here you can see here in the this part this is particularly where the flag list is showing up so if i put up filter here remove the blanks uh, these are the uh, comparator uh, keywords which are being showing up here right now shilling needu shilling etc all these are flag lists what you can do is you can select all those uh, after selecting you can kind of delete row and it will remove all those branded keywords so that is the point here of this flag list point okay so these are the two things so the other thing very important stuff which i missed to show you is i mean i requested uh brett specially to put up this feature that is this total branded search volume so for some of the products we see everything is going good pretty awesome um but then eventually once we dive deep into the part we analyze that there are many keywords which are uh, branded and the search volume the revenue that is through due to the branded search volume so then that changes the game a bit di uh, different i mean that makes the game a bit different the point is if a uh, majority of the search volume is coming through the or majority of the sale is coming through the branded uh, keyword and then branded search volume then instead of i mean um, that is a skewed data i let's say if they are ranked against keywords which have 50000 total search volume out of those 50000 15 or 20000 is 
um, branded search volume that it means your relevant data is or the keywords on which you can play that is 30,000 that is not 50,000 that is what you need to analyze here so here this point total branded search volume um, you can see only this competitor has around 7,000 branded search volume other one have pretty small one so that is uh, pretty easy to do uh, pretty easy, easy stuff uh, which we can figure out here now you can see uh, I mean it's still undefined and let me define the data but you can see here the relevant keywords are around uh, as per this undefined data around 528 keywords and the search volume is 450,000 now once I have refined the data I have collected a couple of things here for example I've removed all of the negative keywords whichever keyword but not relevant I've removed all those there were some big keywords which were not relevant for example fidget toy is a big keyword and then if you see you won't find uh, this product ranked against fidget toys now definitely we will cover up that route that's a separate discussion we will cover up that route in our content if possible if not then at the back end so we can get impressions against those keywords but our prime focus should be those search terms where we have potential to get ranked because that is the uh, those keywords deserve the most um, when it comes to the position in our content or placement in our content because we are supposed to get ranked on those keywords we are supposed to get organic sales from those keywords so we won't waste uh, the uh, the the space in our listing content like title bullet point on irrelevant keywords like squishy like fidget like maybe a bunch of other keywords so i have done all the homework i have refined all of the keywords uh, and now the final version is 116 keywords and the relevant search volume is 93000 that makes the picture a bit uh, i mean much more refined as compared to 500000 data which is a big volume which definitely attracts more but then again that 500000 is split let's say you can say maybe 200,000 with squishy 100,000 with um, hand therapy balls maybe um, um, 50,000 or 100,000 with fidget toys so that is a split in between so you need to figure out what is your refined uh, keyword list and once we have done it check out the keywords stress ball stress relief gift it is ranked i mean one of our competitor is ranked against that keyword squeeze ball for hand therapy stress ball for adult therapy hand exercise ball now check out the quality of those, these keywords hand therapy stress relief item okay this is also uh, against which our exactly similar design was ranked on top hand exercise ball for arthritis squeeze ball adult stress ball hand exercise ball you get the gist of it i mean this looks much more relevant data as compared to the last one and now all this data which we had seen here like this one and then this data now all this thing that uh, this makes uh, much more sense because if you uh, check out all this data now it shows okay so if i if i zoom in a bit for you guys just a second okay so now this data shows that okay my listing has around a 78000 indexed search volume but out of that um, my uh, search volume in a top 10 position is around 30% and then the other 31 is this one uh, the other competitor which is uh, for hand therapy exercise then the third one is i mean this shows a, a bit kind of this one is third one 30 percent all of the other competitors uh, i mean 30 30 these ones are relevant ones uh, also now this one are the joy and then uh, the 48 percent needu these are ranked against these keywords but uh, these are uh, more uh, most of the time like I mean the reason is because these are big brands they are sending external traffic those external uh, traffic pointers are helping them to rank against all of the generic keywords all of the semi relevant keywords or maybe the keywords which are not directly relevant to them that is another chapter for discussion I mean how we can do uh, the external traffic the marketing influencer marketing and then branding then um like what we do in uh, sponsored display and all that kind of stuff to make sure that the brand awareness of the product is good enough that we are going to rank against um other keywords semi-relevant keywords that is a different science it's a simple science but it's a different science i mean you are supposed to do for uh, do activities like demand generation but here if you see other players like this one 
the other one you won't see them doing um, uh, capturing good search volume the reason is not that they are not earning good revenue the reason is uh, that they are ranked on other keywords uh, which are not included right now in our refined list of keywords that's a very important point here um, and based upon that thing what I've done is I have if I let me again squeeze it a bit if I do it here if you can check out I have optimized the content based upon uh, all this data like here if you put search volume Z to A um, and if you see uh, the title search volume for our definitely it is um, I, I've just optimized it so the title search volume is 51,000 um, as compared to the other players who do not have more than 37,000 search volume in title then again in bullet point if you see our bullet point search volume is around 45,000 while other competitors have 36,000 or less than that the reason is because I have refined the keyword list I have uh, checked out data from multiple sources and then after that I am playing with those uh, keyword list I have my competitor analysis already here I play with those keywords here I put up those keywords here and whichever keyword I put that turns green and that adds to my title search volume so and in real time with real data movement I can see okay so what impact does this addition of keyword have or what impact if I remove what's the impact if I remove this particular keyword from my title from my bullet point so I can see that and I can um, you know put maximum relevant keywords or broad search volume in my title in my bullet point based upon this activity so this is something amazing this is something pretty useful and then after that what we can do is we can utilize this one as well like a helium 10 title density so what I like to do is like clear all then uh, select title density till 4 okay so these are the keywords like if you see out of these uh, less title density keywords handballs for therapy that shows green which means now that's why I love this color coding part which means I have this keyword added in my title now hand therapy ball that is a keyword which has three title density or less than that which means uh, and I have this uh, uh, keyword in my bullet point so I have these uh, three keywords with less title density right now which I'm going to focus one is in my title two and my bullet points I'm going to focus on these keyword I expect ranking pretty quickly because those uh, competitors have not added those keywords like I can also put some effort to bring these two keywords from bullet point to title once I have two to three keywords ideally two keywords are more than enough more than enough at one time once I have these keywords in the title what I can do is I can uh, put up these keywords um, in, in title then run a specific campaign in PPC because no other competitor has these keywords in title um, Amazon algorithm will identify our listing as most relevant one once someone is searching this keyword particular keyword exactly so our probability uh, to get visibility and then to get ranked uh, is very much high against these keywords just because we have put these keywords in our title once we are ranked on these keywords what we can do is we can migrate these keywords from title to bullet point and then out of these uh, remaining available keywords we can um, kind of uh, select those and shift those into the title uh, do the ranking um, run ads then see once ranking is done then again migrate and we can run all this stuff to make sure that we are ranked on these keywords which have a good ranking juice that is the benefit uh, what you can do after defining the keyword list you're supposed to put the title density on this part so as you see here let me remove this filter first as you see here uh, once uh, uh, definitely no one can always cover all of these 116 keywords in the title and bullet point and there will be keywords uh, which are left and which are not covered so what we do is we kind of right now at this stage um, sort these keywords by color fill color and then white once it is covered uh, we can select all these keywords now these keywords definitely have very small search volume but we do still want to get indexed against these keywords here um, so control C and from here I'll go to this one uh, which is rank more list of keywords and as you can see here I've already done it but I'll do it for you guys 
um, I've paid the paste this here uh, so it is the search term optimizer I mean all of those keywords which I could not cover in my title and bullet point I'll put those keywords here once these keywords here are here then I'll go this one uh, search term optimizer then process uh, phrase list once I repeat this it will basically put up all these keywords here in, in this tab simply as that so from here I'll copy paste this one and once I copy paste this uh, here is the search term section which you can see I'll paste it these up here okay so once I've pasted these up here you have seen that uh, all these keywords have turned a purple color uh, which shows that all of these keywords are in search term but here you can also see the character bytes now here um, like I did it in a rush honestly speaking so you need to keep the bullet point uh, I mean the sum should be not more than 1000 bytes this is what you need to take care of this is I guess exceeding a bit more this is going 1200 we can definitely squeeze it but just for the sake of uh, demonstrating the tool I put up all this thing and similarly you can hear, see here the title it's 217 character that needs to be less than 200 we can skip a couple of things for example here the titanium set is or the sea breeze we can skip up these parts these are the details which serenity light brand has put up uh, which should be specific to the variation only not in the main title and once we do that this should be less than uh, for therapy yeah till this this should be 185 okay so the title uh, character needs to be less than 200 but here the point is in the search term 250 to 500 bytes are allowed it does get very I mean right now I guess it is 500 but we have here 2500 which is not good definitely I, it is more than what we can put up here so for at this stage what we need to do is we need to go here keyword dominator and run this second one optimize search term once we do this second one what it will do is it will kind of uh, pick up uh, like it did with the uh, the keyword frequency tool it will pick up e each one like let's say a particular keyword like stress is repeated for example uh, for 20 times it will uh, put up a single one and remove the remaining 19 so this is what it's going to do with the remaining one and once the script is done it will show up here uh, just under upscale um, value name this one here so what we can do is we can copy here and then we can paste up this file special values now you see it has around 535 uh, characters or bytes and it has covered all of those now definitely you won't see the purple color here because not exactly these keywords are put up here but um, all of the words from these keywords like funny gadget small large these were being repeated for 20 30 40 times it is pick up, pick up one so if Amazon at the back end the crawler basically uh, goes through that that can mix and match uh, and, and kind of make uh, multiple keywords for example large stress ball then again it, it can also make small stress ball then funny stress ball all this kind of stuff so that is what the optimized picture will look like and before before uploading the content you can always see uh, what is your uh, title search volume as compared to competitors what is your bullet search volume and then based upon that you can do the homework and all that stuff now here in this part in, in the note section in the priority section you can uh, set up the design one um, and then relevant one so you know what are the design specific keywords which I need to prioritize and after that the relevant one then after that the outlier keywords which are the generic one like for example stress ball etc we can try to run ads on those one but those should be the last priority so this is all about the master class and this is all about the tool now definitely uh, if you're watching till the end um, you guys can get the best possible discount on the keyword dominator tool um, if you apply the code USV the code will appear in the beginning of the video and right now on the screen so you can see it USV simple USV uh, and you can um, apply that code to get the best possible rates for these tools and use it last thing is like if you can see here let me uh, minimize these ones and put it 75% this uh, like let's say after three months you go again and then again you again repeat the same stuff where uh, you upload these uh, essays and then upload the the cell profile and the helium 10 extension and then run everything again it will um, append that new data with the old one and how you can see the list of keywords for example here you can see okay so this one this was uploaded on 9th of September then this one was uploaded on 12th of September this one was uploaded on 16th of September 
just to show you it shows you what keywords are newly added from let's say other sources like um like search term report like search query performance report like uh, product opportunity explorer brand analytics all this kind of data stuff so you can put up these filter and maybe put up notes here as well if you want to that is all from this one hope you like this master class of keyword uh, research and then using that uh, list of keyword to define and optimize the content hope that is adding value to your amazon fba journey um yeah do like the video subscribe the channel and share it with your friends and see you soon in the next one till then goodbye